All right, I'm sure you've all heard the quote, um, too much of a good thing is, is a bad thing. Um, maybe it's too much food and you feel like it leaves you with a bloated feeling after, or too much beer or something, leaving you with a bad hangover the next morning. Uh, my quote is, uh, too much of a good thing can be wonderful. And I, I agree with this more because um, when, you're, when you have all good things, you know, um, just the, the addition of all those things just adds up to something great. For instance, um, I just got back from a Maui trip and everything went perfect. The beaches were nice, the water was warm, the Mai Tais were good. Um, everything was perfect and it ended up being a wonderful trip. Um, the quote, too much of a good thing can, can lead to a bad thing, um, I feel only refers to things that really aren't truly good but but maybe are in nature bad things, making them, making in the sum of all those good things bad. Um, for instance, like use, the use of alcohol or anything like that, um, you know, it's good, it's had, good to have fun and go out and party and stuff, but the next morning all those good things lead up to something bad and leads you the next day feeling bad or feeling hungover, um, maybe even throwing up. Um, All right, well, you kind of start with that opposite quote, and then you transition to the point that you're going to make, and I think that you've got a clear statement of where uh, you want to go with this, but once you get that to that point, you really don't have much of a plan, and so as a consequence, you run out of stuff to say, and that's what creates uh, the anxiety that's referred that's what creates the anxiety that's reflected later on in the presentation. Um, you, you've got a nice personal example to start with, but I'm sorry, I can't hear myself think when other people are talking while I'm talking and I'm trying to get through these things. So if you guys could refrain from speaking while your classmates are talking and while I'm talking, I would really appreciate it. All right. Um, I, I think because you don't really know where you're going with the content, uh, that that's one of the things that makes you feel uncomfortable. That's when the hesitation starts coming up. That's when uh, you, you start playing with the paper in your hand and kind of rolling your eyes and you're a little bit uncertain. At the end of the speech, for instance, you kind of bail out on what you're saying and you don't really uh, finish as gracefully as you might. I think there are ways to recover, even if you have a short speech, but you've made a point it can be uh, clear and worth having listened to, but you kind of you know, just abandon the attempt to make it uh, work for us, and so I think that that is a bit of a problem. Uh, 
like I said, I think uh, there, there are some things that you're doing okay and I don't see big problems with, but most of the problems that you have, I think, are because you don't really develop the speech much and then once, once you're in that situation where I don't know what I'm saying, stuff starts taking over that, that becomes distracting for you instead of enhancing the presentation. All right, thank you.